Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. So it's been so long since I filmed a video for this channel and you guys have been asking for an updated makeup routine and I have done that for you guys today. So I hope you guys appreciate this video. I'm sharing a few more different products, a few more different techniques, but if you wanna get a face that looks on fleek, does anyone say me in 2023? Probably not, but I don't give a damn. If you want your makeup to look flawless on a budget, these products that I'm using aren't super high-end. They may be high-end for some people, like, you know, Huda Beauty. I think that's as high as it goes. Laura Mercier. But other than that, um, the products that I've used are quite affordable. The techniques are very simple and easy. Not a lot has changed from my last makeup tutorial apart from my weight, which does affect how my makeup does look. But if you are interested in how to get Get this dark skin makeup look if you're looking for more tips and tricks or new products to add to your makeup kit make sure you stay tuned don't forget to give us a thumbs up like the video and subscribe to this channel i want to be talking about everything that relates to beauty and image and everything like that and i'm going to definitely create a lot more content this year i'm so sorry for leaving you guys in the lurch last year okay so i like to start off by priming my face and I've been using the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. The first one I got was the yellow one. Then I went back to Superdrug to find it. And I couldn't find it. So at the first time I bought these, I bought the white one, the yellow one, and that was it. So I like to start off by priming my face. I've noticed when I do use this, my makeup does stay on a lot longer so this is my updated foundation makeup routine i just feel like this is the best my makeup has ever looked and it stays on a long time i know when my makeup is good when i can go to sleep in my makeup which you should never do but when it does happen i notice that my makeup still looks good like i'll actually show you when i was on vacation i slept in my makeup and i woke up <laughs> and I shot this outfit. All I had to do was like touch up my nose area. This area gets the shiniest and then I was literally good to go. So I know my makeup is good when I can sleep in it, wake up and it's still on my face and not on my bed sheets. And by the way, a lot of these products haven't changed. Actually they have, they've all changed actually. Bruh. I've upgraded my product. So this is the face form baking set and setting powder from Sleek. I'm not sure what I was using in my last video but you can go back and look at that. But after the primer, I like to put this all over my face. This also helps to keep the face matte all day. And the matte look is what I go for. Now my brows are already microbladed, as you can see. So I already have a good basis to work from. So what I like to do, I actually had my, what, found, what concealer was it? Not Becca. I can't remember, but the concealer that I was using for my brows before, I had to leave at the airport when I was going to Morocco because I was over the liquid limit. The UK have an annoying liquid limit and ended up having to leave my stupid concealer that I use for my brows at the airport. But anyway, we move. So I just put a, a, oh my God, I haven't filmed a makeup video in so long. I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, I have to show you guys everything, right? So this is the brush that I use. It is from Remsco's uh, Creations. This is also where my beauty blenders are from, black owned business, do support. So I put it at the back of my hand. What I'm gonna do is go around my brows to basically uh, refine the shape that is already there. I really hope this makeup tutorial doesn't come out worse than my everyday makeup comes out because sometimes when you're filming the video, it doesn't go to plan. I can literally do this makeup in half an hour. That's how routine it is. But sometimes when you're filming, it likes to go wrong. But I'm praying it doesn't in Jesus name. So I have defined around my brows and then I use the Juvia's Place 
I sculpt shade brown pen and it is in the shade ebony. This is my favorite product, product of the year, product of the century. So what I do is basically go and define the brow. I'm using the concealer as an outline so I know where I'm going. Can you all see? And I know there's a new trend where people are like creating hair like strokes. I don't have time for that. This is how I love my brows to look old and beautiful. Now, I'm not used to doing my makeup in silence. I usually have a sermon or music playing and it kind of helps me to relax a bit and not make mistakes. So <laughs> yeah, I'll, hopefully I can show you better on this side. And then, I know I've made an error on this one, so I'm gonna clean it up in a bit, but I like to go in with my Dubious Place Chocolate Palette. As you can see, it's done out here because I use it every single day. This is what I used to do in my eyeshadow. So I like to use the darkest one up here. This is a great palette, but I kind of just go in to fill in the front part so it's not too dark. Amazing. So I've made an error here, so I'm gonna use my concealer to clean that up. Good. So now I'm just gonna blend the concealer now. I love Buddha. He sent me a big ass PR package. And I'm forever grateful because most makeup brands know I don't do makeup anymore. They don't really send me products like that. So I'm really grateful for Huda. So those are the brows. I love, I love my brows. Even though I've got micro braiding, I still like to do that. Anyway, I use the rest of the concealer to use as an eyeshadow base. Huda in Honeycomb. This is my favorite color. The reason why I like to um, conceal my eyelids and then set them, I just feel like, I just feel like, come on Brini, use your words, use your words. I just feel like, the eyeshadow sits on it better. So this is my literal makeup routine, guys. This is literally what I do every single time I go out, every single time. And let me know if you want me to film an everyday makeup routine. This used to be my everyday makeup routine. I used to wear it every single day. But let me know if you want me to do a, how I do my makeup every day. And it takes like 15 minutes. So yeah, I'm using this color. It's like per perfect transition color. I literally love this palette so much. Julia's palettes, please sponsor me. <laughs> so yeah, I just blend that into the crease. It's like a perfect color. And for my dark skin babes out there, that's why your lid need to be set with a lighter concealer, put powder on top of it so that your eyeshadow can stand out. I think a lot of dark skin women struggle with their eyeshadow and having that perfect like nude neutral eye is because you've got to make sure that your eyelids are lighter. It's like a blank canvas. So that's why I don't ever skip that step. And what I really love about this eyeshadow is it, it creates so much dimension to the eyes. You can darken it up, you can smoke it out more, you can, you know, make it go from day to night easily. Guys, as I'm watching about this makeup tutorial, I'm like, my products look so janky. I need to go to the shop and buy new brushes, buy new products. But I'm just keeping it real with you guys. I'm not the queen of eyeshadow. I do the same look all the time. Every YouTube video, this, this is my look. So I'm blending that kind of in here, create some shadow. Then I take this brush and look, you can see I'm almost at the pan, but you got some more for me babes come on come on come on give it to me come give it to me give it to me and i put this it's like a yellowy tone but it works perfect once everything is blended out 
you can see that coming together already. Like, I love this palette so much. I remember the days I used to do like gold eyeshadow every single time, but now this is like my substitute. It's like, it's not shiny, it's not glittery, it's just a matte nude color that works so well. I miss my grandma, she's so beautiful. I miss my grandma. She looks like me, I did her makeup this day. I miss my grandma. I call my grandma Nan, or Nanny. And I swear, I swear when I'm on YouTube, I always change my, the words that I use to accommodate my American followers. I don't know why. So I'm like, grandma. I never call my grandma grandma. I always call her Nanny. Nan or Nanny. She's my nan. I think it's a British thing. Nan. She's my nan. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna redefine this. As you can see, it's starting to take a really nice gradient gradient effect and it also helps to clean up the lid color and that's basically it guys and I might take a bit of the dark one and put it on the corner there eyeliner this is from the pound shop this is definitely the same eyeliner I was using for my last video Bingo. Sorry, I can't teach you how to put on liquid liner. It's just like second second nature. But practice makes perfect. I feel like sometimes the cheapest makeup is the best makeup. Like this is one pound guys now. It's literally lasted me like seven months. So makeup doesn't have to be expensive guys. Don't let them fool ya. So what mascara is this now? Huda Beauty. Hey Huda. Hey Huda. Thanks for hooking me up. But I like to put mascara on so that my lashes, my false lashes have something to cling to. Sometimes when I put on lashes without doing this step, I literally feel like I'm sticking my lashes on my eyeballs. So this gives it a little lift and something to attach to. So the lashes that I've been rocking are literally $5.99 from my local hair shop. That's how you be do it, babes. Things then gotta be expensive. Just gotta find the shape that works best for you. I like. This is my shape. So short, going out, longer and fuller. And then I put a bit of mascara on them. And I feel like lashes make me look so different, as in different lashes make me look so different. That's why when I get my individual lashes, I have to make sure it's in the style that I like. I like to get a mix of different lengths. But I feel like if it's just like short, 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 or short and long at the ends, I look different or when my lashes start to fall out and it makes my eyes heavier, I look different. So I feel like lashes are so important for me and I feel like lashes are a big part of your makeup and like how you overall look. Make sure you know what lashes work for your eye shape and just the overall look. So I set the glue off from the lashes, but can we skip to the good part? So I like to use bonding glue. <laughs> No secrets here. It just makes my lashes stay on longer and I have no shame about it. Like I said, I can go to sleep in my makeup and literally wake up as perfect as I was the night before. So these keep my lashes on and they're like what, $1.99 from the beauty supply store. <laughs> they're here, shop girl. So yeah. Just like that, they are on. I just feel like to the girlies that battle or fight with their lashes to put them on, just calm down, relax, take a deep breath and breathe. It's not that serious. You just gotta think about it as in your lashes or your eye shape is the same curvature as the lashes. So all you're trying to do is match your curve with this curve and it just slots in. Put the end on first and then make sure the corners is stuck because the corner is always tries to come up first. And voila, my lashes are on. Now for my eyeliner, I'm using the NYX Professional Makeup. 
NYX Eye Pencil Crayon Pour Let Your in the color black. The SPE 901 Black. Straight to the point, mate. I've always been looking for a dark, 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 black, 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 black liner. And this is it. And usually I put on the, top, on, the, on the top lash as well, but it's still drying, so I will leave it at that. So, now it's time for the face. Like sometimes you wanna come on YouTube and make sure you're doing your makeup when your skin is perfect. It's not perfect right now, so it's okay. No, but literally, this is the reason why my skin is not perfect, because I am obsessed with this drink. What is your favorite drink in the world and why is it not Rio? Period. I go for cans, 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 cans of Rio. This is the perfect drink. Try it, let me know. <laughs> Rio, sponsor me. For my foundation, I use the Huda Beauty in the color 590R, R for Roberts. Because I used some of this on my hair earlier and I'm running out. Huda Beauty, send me some more chicken. I used some for my hair earlier, so there's still some on here and it's running out, so I'm not trying to waste that, so. Oh, so this is my Morphe brush in MF439. Oh, there's more in there, yay. They tried to throw that away at the airport and I was like, God, please. Not my Huda. So this is what I like to do. Put pat into the skin. So I'm definitely aware that this my foundation is a lot darker than me, okay? And it's fine, you'll see why. And the reason why I like my foundation to be a bit darker than me is because I'm already, I'm already lightening up my skin with lighter concealers. And the error I used to make in the past was my foundation was light, my concealer was light, and it was changing the color of my skin. And that's not the idea. That is not the wave. You want to still remain your color, even though you want to highlight certain areas. And that has been my goal to achieve, which is to make sure I'm not changing color. Because I love my color. I love being dark skin. But I just want to look brighter and I want my makeup to stand out. You see me? Look at that hair lace. Look at that lace. What lace, guys? What lace? That melt is just beautiful. But yeah, I want to remain my color. And my chest is always going to be lighter than my face, which is totally fine. We'll, we'll work that out later. But now I look like I'm in blackface. <laughs> and I love it because I am black, guys. So using my Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer in the color Honeycomb. This is where the magic happens. Everybody knows how we do this. I've been doing the tree of life. If my nose ever looks so snatched, it's because tree of life. Make sure you do the square, upside down square, and then maybe a little bit on the forehead. I'm not using a lot of concealer, but this concealer is serious business. So I'm gonna wet, this is my beauty blender, the actual beauty blender. I'm gonna wet it and I shall be back. Don't mind me, it's gonna have a biscuit. Mm. On a normal day, I would be happy with just setting this concealer, but on a special occasion, which it is a special occasion, I sold this for my friend, Bomber <laughs> when I was on vacation. Sorry, sis, I'll buy you another one. Like I said, my concealer got taken at cust customs security at the airport. So I'm using this at the moment, but it's a similar color. This is gonna add an extra highlight under my color. So it's so, so important, dark skin women, like, as you can see, there's not too much of a difference between my foundation and the concealer color, right? So when you add in these lighter concealers, you've got to do, it, do so sparingly because it can start to overpower your whole face and that's when you start to change color. And like I said, I'm not trying to change color, we're trying to enhance the darkness, okay? 
So I hope I haven't put too much on. I kind of feel like I have. But lightning without being too crazy. I feel like I've really got my colors worked out. I've got my undertones are yellow. My family are yellow, but sometimes I can get away with a red or golden. As you can see, my under eye has got light, but it's not crazy bright. Like, unless you like that look, go ahead. Like each to their own. But I like to look like I'm wearing makeup but not like I'm really wearing makeup. <laughs> like, that makes sense. I remember I was at Soho House and this guy was like, oh my God, who did your makeup? It looks sick. He was straight, like, I know gays like to compliment me all the time, but like, he was straight and he was like, your makeup looks so good. And I was like, wow, a guy actually complimented my makeup. That's actually a compliment. And I was like, thanks. If it looks good like this, you know, that once you set everything, everything is gonna just look so good. I'm gonna go in with my REMS, I gotta get this right, REMS Co Creations <clears throat> Deep Blender. And I like to use this while it's dry. I actually have one that I use every single day, but you know when you keep on swapping bags, it's so difficult to know where you put the, where you put the beauty blender. So I can't find the one that I use every single day, so I'm using this one, and it's just as good as. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my sleek in medium and this is the first this is kind of a similar step to what i showed you guys in my last video i am not baking with this one this one is just literally to set the concealer so it doesn't go anywhere so you can see set not set it looks very similar to my color right so I'm not baking this one. I don't bake my first layer. I let it sit into the skin. Because this is really what's set in the makeup. Once you start baking, you're just caking everything up for no reason. And like I said, this is such a routine. I can literally do this with my eyes closed. This is just, this is my only makeup routine when I'm going out this is what I do every single time and so many of you have been asking me for an update so I know you all are loving it so I got you girls I got y'all okie dokie so then I go in with my Sasha Buttercup for my old school girlies Sasha Buttercup it's like a yellow powder and it works very well for me and this is where I bake, but not for long. And, and I'll show you. So this is gonna add another highlight. Once everything is set, then you can go in and bake. Like this is the second layer, so this is cool. And I like to bring the powder to my nose. Because it's all about shadows, guys. Light and shadow. That's going to give Dina the appearance of a smaller nose. And who doesn't want a smaller nose? <sighs> so like in the last video, while that is setting, I like to go on to my lips. This lip combo is working for me right now. Where's my lip liner? This I bought from the hair shop as well. Iron lip pencil. You know it's from the hair shop and you can use it for both. <laughs> I need to sharpen it, but whatever. So my second option is I use this dark, look, multi-purpose, ah. Overlining lips. Yep. Using eyeshadow for lip liner. Why not? So this is a lipstick that I use underneath my lip gloss. It's by Melon G. I don't know when they sent this to me. But I love it. Use it every day. Do you remember the days we didn't used to use lip liner? And we used to, used to put these kind of colours all around our lips, like 
like Nicki Minaj days. Oh my God! I'm like, girl, are you crazy? You dark skin. It didn't look good on anybody, but girl, you dark skin. You need to blend it. It needs to blend, all right? And once you put the lip gloss on it, it's just gonna look so blended. The lip gloss that I use is Makeup Revolution. It's actually a clear lip gloss, but every time I use it, I mix it with pink. <laughs> but this is the bomb.com. This is my go-to. Look at that. They all juicy lips. You see that? Now I've given my face a chance to set. I'm going to blend it out. So I'm going to blend out this powder. And as you can see, it's absolutely beautifully seamless. Look at that. Look at that. Seamless. That's what you want your makeup to be seamless. And guys, like if you're a beginner, like honestly, it's taken me so long to get my makeup the way that I like it. When I look back on old photos, I'm just like, bro, you look so bad. Like, not even at the time, I thought I was doing something, but when I look at my makeup now, I'm just like, I could get married. <laughs> I'm like, I could actually do my own makeup for my wedding and be happy about it. So back to our trusted palette. Just gonna how I redefine my nose. Like my nose is a center part of my face. Like y'all gonna see this bridge. Y'all gonna see the bridge. So I like to blend it up into my brows, come down. So it's like when people look at you, they're following the contours <laughs> of your makeup. It's like, look at me, my nose is straight and like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then, Makeup Revolution palette, Patricia Bright. Using the beauties every single day. Put a little glitter, a little gold hair. Maybe put some in. My center, my tear ducts for extra ba ba boom, and then I'm gonna use the same palette to add some blush. I've got a new palette in my room, but <laughs> if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm gonna use every single product that I bought myself, okay, because this is my money. <laughs> This is my money chair. I'm just getting stupid now because I've done too much. <laughs> Wait, so yeah, putting this, putting some color back into your face. I love blush, the right color blush for my dark skin babes. So yeah, I used to contour, but look at my face, guys. I do not need any more sharpness. Like, and since I've lost weight, my face has just gone like, I remember I was on live the other day and I was talking and people were like, what contour are you wear? And I'm like, girl, that's not contour. This is my face. Like, but yeah, um, I had to do my little fake beauty spot. Yes, we're still doing that in 2023 on my job business. This is my old piercing. And this is to cover up my spot. <laughs> I want to put some more Eyeliner, 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 eyeliner. You know when you got so much makeup you can't see anything. Found it. Gonna go back into our trusty palette and I'm gonna use this and this one to define underneath my eyes just to kind of bring them out a little bit more. Kind of give like a smoky effect. And yes, this is the brush I lined my lips with. So what, it's my face. So it's my face. Probably shouldn't, but 
whatever. Then I'm gonna put some legit lashes on my bottom lashes. I feel like this really makes a difference. I feel like I've got more lashes on my bottom than I have on my top, which is very embarrassing, but I might get individual lashes next week, just so that I don't have to keep putting lashes on. I wanted to do this makeup tutorial first without lashes, so you guys can see what I do. Are we missing anything? So I could literally leave it here, but you know, I'm extra AF. So I go in with the translucent honey uh, powder. This is like, if I'm having a really, really special occasion, I'm just gonna put a little bit on my favorite places. And so this will be the powder that I use when I go out, right? So let's say I finish my makeup, I get dressed, blah, blah, blah. So the things that I'm taking with me for the night out, wherever I'm going, is my, my last powder that I used, my beauty blender and my lipstick. That's all I'm taking out on a night out. Like this is all done. And that's all I need to do to touch up again. So, so this is basically it guys. I didn't put on any, any earrings today. It is a shame. But yeah, I usually put on like, sometimes I'll put on like gold. I don't really like that look anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for this to bake. It's a wait. My phone is always on do not disturb. Let me know if you can relate. I just don't like to be disturbed. Like, leave me alone. And like, I did my hair today and I changed my, I usually have a side part in, so I changed it to a middle part in. So I don't know if I like it, but we move. I'm gonna, Take this off. Ooh. If you wanna know what hair this is, check out this reel right here. This hair comes already curled, but let me know if you want me to do a hair tutorial, how I get my hair like this. And I will do that for you babes. Let's get some earrings. I'll be right back. <clears throat> okay, earrings are on. So I'm just gonna blend this out and then we'll be done. I lied. And we are done. This is my updated makeup routine all the links to everything that i use will be in the description box below i don't use a lot of products everything is high and low i don't use like super expensive like makeup i have it but i don't feel like i need to use it for me it's all about what works for me and what helps create the look that i'm going for so this is me and my middle part in i'm not very used to it i like to i like to have a um, side part in i feel like more in control of my life when i have a <laughs> side part in this middle part has got me exposed but anyway guys, this is the final makeup look. Let's show you in some natural light. Yeah, this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned some tips and some tricks or new products to add to your makeup kit. I don't always believe in going out and buying the next best thing. I think you can always use what you have. I don't go out and buy a bunch of different makeup or a bunch of new makeup all the time. I use what I have until it's finished and maybe I'll try something else, but I'm not a type of person that is constantly shopping for makeup. Once I have my basics, my foundation, my concealers, my powders and my brow stuff, I'm good. The only thing I buy on the regular basis is lashes when I don't have full lashes. So yeah, this is the final look. How did I do? Do you love it? What would you change? What would you add? What would you subtract? And don't say everything. Don't say you don't need makeup. Nobody needs anything in this life. We choose to have it because we want to and it's available for us. There was a time when black women could not find their makeup in the department stores. They couldn't find it. They had to go to the hair shop in the back alley to find their color. I guess that's why we are beautiful with or without it, but because we had to learn how to make do. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to this new channel, and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.